Today we're doing an unboxing of the Anthem AVM60 AV processor. That's this, it's this thing right here. And uh, so making this decision was very difficult. There was the Marantz 8802A. Uh, there was this AVM60. Those are the main front runners. Um, and I ultimately decided on the AVM60 uh, because of ARC. Uh, from my research, uh, it looked like ARC did a better job with um, with uh, equalization and uh, just making the room sound its best. So I've used Odyssey for a very long time. Um, towards the end of my last theater, I was not a fan anymore. I used to just run things in direct. So um, here we have it. All right, so let's get started. Okay, power cord. A remote control and what looks like the ARC Anthem Room Correction microphone. I mean, perhaps you can get a better look. This is what you get, so remote, what looks like the ARC mic. Um, cable, batteries, manual, looks like a textbook. Normally I say I won't need this when I'm talking about manuals. I am going to need this one because I have never run Anthem Room Correction before. So, it's the first time for everything, right? Okay. This, oh no, I stand corrected. This is the mic. This is the arc mic here. Let's bring it up so you get a good look. There we go. This is not bad. The fact that they actually include this with the processor, personally, I think is amazing. That's just me, but I think it's amazing. All right, now we have the processor. Lift it on the box. Step two, kick the box out of the way. Get out of my way. Step three, let's get rid of the styrofoam. Okay, there go. All right, a little closer. So, let us, okay, it has a bag style, it starts from back here. Ooh, I just need to look up the skirt. Okay. I'm going to take my time with this. This is the Anthem AVM60. That's the front. Okay, I wanted to give a, a close up of the front. We have the direction buttons here with select. This is the main window. You have setup, dim, mode, level, zone, input. That's the volume knob. has a very nice mechanical feel to it. Main. Zone 2. It's Arc Logos, PlayFi, DTS, Master Audio, Atmos. This really should say DTS-X. However, 
that's up here. So I'll give it a pass. And this says open. Oh, here we go. There goes section for software updates. Uh, the MHL, um, HDMI, input, and a headphone jack. Because, yeah, you're going to have this thing on your desk while you listen to headphones. All right, let's take a look around back. And here we have the rear of the Anthem AVM60. A, there's a lot going on here, so I want to make sure I get everything. So these are the HDMI ports. Um, not bad, seven HDMI inputs. I remember when two HDMI inputs was considered a luxury. So now, now we're at seven. Beautiful. Then we have two HDMI outputs. Here we just have some vents. Uh, Ethernet port. Uh, wireless update. This is just some status lights, it looks like. Uh, IEC power inlet. RS-232. I'm a fan. You have coax, IR, infrared, optical. And interesting enough, um, I actually still use this with Sonos. Um, so I'm glad they included this. Optical is not dead yet. This, I can see myself using this as well. These are just the standard RCA inputs. Um, yeah, because these are still valuable. I'm happy to say that they did not include component outputs because this is 2017 and nobody's using those anymore all right here's the wireless network the two of them one is right here and one is right here okay over here chassis ground uh, this is in just for an antenna I mean in this age of internet radio I'm not sure how valuable that may be okay now down here get your front right front left center surround right surround left back right back left Height one right, height one left, height two right, height two left, and then you have two subwoofers. So the way I want to implement this in this room, pardon me, it's under construction at the moment. I'm just doing some projector testing right now. That that was actually up there. So these ceiling clouds each have a pair of Atmos speakers in them. Ooh, dusty. So this does and all the processes on the market now do four at most channels I have six so I'm going to use a DSP to matrix the third pair so that we get a so we get a good cohesive sound feel throughout the entire room coming from the ceiling so stay tuned and thanks for watching